<coughs> All right. What is up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Long time no see. Live on YouTube, on Twitch. I'm a man of the world. <clears throat> All right. So what are we doing here? Basically creating a game uh, from completely from scratch. Some. Um, it's basically some dream that I tried to pursue for a very long time. Actually, for years and years and years, uh, made a shit ton of games, never completed one, never published one. So, hey, why not give it a shot? I have a very good idea, which is basically based on the Inversus game uh, 10 years ago. And we're gonna, we, we're writing it in Odin, right? The Odin language, why? Uh, just because. So basically, let me make this thing. Uh, that's what I have right now. Of course, there are no really graphics yet. Hey, we need to start somewhere, right? Don't over-engineer your game. You first the mechanics, and then we can do whatever we want. So basically, we have already some smooth movement in here. Uh, you see, it's, it's, it's basically a little drag, a little friction here. It's perfectly fine. We have collision here with these tiles. So what's gonna happen is... Um, of course, the game's going to be, the window is going to be much bigger and, and all that stuff. So don't worry about that. So the main idea is that we uh, basically can move on uh, certain tiles, right? But if we shoot the bullet in some kind of direction, all the tiles will change based on the weapon you're holding. Um, and some tiles will basically block your movement. Some tiles will slow your movement and all that stuff. Enemies will come into the screen and... Um, you need to shoot them but you are you're gonna be blocked based they're gonna change the tiles based on the enemy type it's gonna be some kind of a bullet hell shooter top-down shooter some vamp vampire survivors uh, stuff but with some cool mechanics in the game it's 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 nice you're gonna see that mm. very important all right so basically what we're gonna do is, let me close everything here. <coughs> so, the thing is, we are rendering our player. Uh, you see, we're rendering the player, but now we need to shoot a bullet. Shooting a bullet, no big of a deal. But, because Odin doesn't have the concept of interfaces, uh, the concept of object oriented programming, we need to do some nifty tricks with Odin, right? So, um, what we're gonna do, we have a bullet. We have a bullet here. We have position speed. Uh, we have the game reference also. Bullet create, yada, 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 all fine. But, then we have a bullet update here. And I'm gonna call bullet updating. How are we gonna do that? We need to find a way in the game to add entities. That's the first thing. <clears throat> so let me first check basically what, what YouTube actually uh, has in petto with my fucking title of my stream yeah that's perfectly fine that's perfectly fine yeah 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 yeah. that's good that's good alright so maybe we're gonna have in this game gonna have some entities which is basically going to be a dynamic dynamic of um, entity I think point is to entities Himaru Kashin can you tell which VS, game, VS Code team you are using Groovebox Groovebox hard contrast right you have Groovebox with a soft contrast which is the background is a little bit more um, light this is the hard contrast so you have a dark background with the Groovebox stuff alright so we have entity it's going to be a dynamic entity we don't have entity, so we need to make that. Um, let's make a new file here, entity.odin, boom. Package main, perfectly fine. Then we're gonna say, uh, not type, that's golang. We're gonna say entity, we're gonna be a strict, right? Actually, to be honest, um, We need to. I need to do, to look up a lot of things to be uh, to be honest here. I think we need to have unions. I 
I know they have an example of entity here, to be honest. It's not gonna be easy. I need to have a union. Yeah, this thing it, it is. <laughs> okay, I see. Poly. Polymorphism procedure, palimatic, this maybe? fucking example man so the idea is that basically in an entity we're gonna have some variations and these variations are gonna be unions and we're gonna use these unions to basically being rendered by an explicit overload so how it's gonna work is this, right? So you can see in bullet here, we have bullet update, right? <clears throat> so the thing is in our game loop, we can have player update because we know we have a player. So that's basically very strict. But now we need to render these entities also, right? So how are we gonna do that? Well, we need to do something like game, a render uh, entity, something like that, right? The problem is we, can make a function like this game a render entity which is going to be a procedure and then we're gonna say for example um, bullet render right <clears throat> you can say bullet render so it's gonna render this bullet if we call it if we put a bullet into this it's gonna render a bullet. If we put something else into it, for example, a pickup item or something, it's gonna render a pickup item. Actually, to be honest, it's gonna be a game update first, right? Update. <clears throat> I'm still figuring out how we can actually do this with Odin. It's gonna be fine. Uh, game update entity. So let's, let's comment this out, let's make real quick. That's gonna work perfectly fine, that's cool, all right. So let's do step by step. First of all, we have these entities here, so we're gonna make these each time we build the game. Make. Um, that's gonna be a slice. going on here with this with this all these special things it's gonna be dynamic pointer entity can it be just to this zero make let me see yeah that's perfectly fine it's gonna work <clears throat> next step game updates we're gonna put all this logic <clears throat> Philippe, man, just found your channel today. You teach really well. Congrats. Thanks, Felipe. Thanks, man. I'm eating. Proteins. Look at that. I see skirts. 40. 40 grams of proteins. For the muscles, you know? All right. First of all, I'm going to also do something game. Spawn. Game spawn entity. Proc. Um, entity. Pointer. Entity. 
So it's annoying. These 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 pointer thingies and Odin. It's just uh, my finger. My finger uh, muscle memory is is. <clears throat> Actually, to be honest, game spawn entity. We need to have a game here, right? There's also going to be a pointer to this beautiful game here. Game entity, just like that. Um, and game. And to be honest, wait. This going to be. It's all about going to be a pointer, isn't it? Can we, can we do that? We can't. That's it. So, game spawn entity. Beautiful. Now, that's going to be easy, right? With the player here, right? So, each time the player shoots a bullet, we can spawn this entity. The problem is, now an entity here, we need to have some kind of... Um, I know they have an example here, man. I want to fucking find this variant... Union tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat, 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 eat. Advanced items. That's what we need. So you have an entity, yada, yada. Then we have a variant, which is a union of all stuff that can happen in the game. I know dynamic languages or more advanced languages with threats that interfaces handle this a little bit better with the cost of a lot of things, right? Man, so good. That's crazy. All right, guys, uh, let me let me show you the inverses thing. Uh, inverses. Look at that. So it's uh, basically based on this game, right? Let me show you. Let me show you this game. You see, so that's what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna shoot something, right? You see, and. The tiles are basically going to disappear and appear. But the only thing they implemented here in this game is they they it's a multiplayer game and all that stuff and and um that's it. If we take this concept and we make it a bullet hell shooter based like Vampire Survivors, uh, uh, all these other top-down insane shooters uh, with more mechanics. More tiles, more weapons, and all that stuff. I think we're gonna have something cool, isn't it? That's what we're gonna make uh, and publish it to Steam. That's what we're gonna do, right? And if we are lucky, we need to also port this to other stuff, which is gonna be a pain in the fucking ass. Okay, so variant. That's gonna be a union. The question of it is now we need to do. I'm just gonna try some stuff out because um, I'm gonna do it like that. New entity. I like to do it like this. Entity new. That's weird how they do that. It's gonna be a proc. That's gonna be the type here. Um, dollar sign. <laughs> type T is gonna be a type idea. Never, never use this. Never use this advanced mechanics. Not gonna lie. It's gonna return, of course, a pointer to the type. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, and then we're gonna say that E is new T. New T, and then actually, to be honest, new capital T. And the variant, which is the union heat, is going to be. This E, wait, I need to, okay, so you're going to instantiate this new thing, which is going to be a bullet, right? So the variant is going to be or a bullet or something else later on. 
So we make this, so this is going to be the pointer to this bullet, so the variant is going to be E. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, and then we're going to return this, yes, okay, cool. And then we're going to return E or E variant. Right, this is on the same thing. Wait. The question about it is. Let me make real quick. That's gonna work perfectly fine. Why are you using Odin? Because I like it. Why are you using your running shoes if you go running and not your high heels? Why are you using your football shoes if you're going to play football and not tennis shoes? Right. Why do people wear bowling shoes if they go bowling? Why don't they wear slippers if they go bowling? You just pick something nice for the, the job you're going to do. Right? It doesn't matter. Programming is programming, right? You just press buttons. That's the thing. Um... But that's a problematic problem, this new entity, because... We already know it's gonna be a bullet. Look, this is what's gonna happen actually. Um, <laughs> you don't even check keyboard events to be honest. space just for the sake of to be honest I'm gonna lie um let's use spacebar for now because I don't want to handle these uh, mouse thingies it's gonna be scan code uh, you see I have no type in I have no nothing but I don't care I like it just back like in the days scan code is it space or something I have no clue uh it's gonna be one then we're gonna say uh players shoots players right play shoot proc players using players I'm gonna be pointer to players and then you're gonna do nothing here you're gonna do an FMT print line shoot him Oh, shoot it. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, cool. That's nice. So what you also need to do is make sure that we uh, have some kind of a delay, to be honest. Gonna be five delay actually to be honest. Otherwise it's gonna spawn like a shit ton of uh, these things. Uh 
Uh, I have no fucking clue. 400 or something. That's just like I said, sucking things out of my thumb. Uh, so we're gonna say. Um, last fire. Ooh, this is hurting. Oh. Oh. oh man, look at that from, from the first time. Look at this, I got it from the first time. Isn't that insane? This is crazy. All right, so now we have a fire delay just to make sure we don't spawn 100 million things into the game for no reason at all because if you press space, you're gonna have, and I still need to eat my proteins. Hmm. There it is. All right. Um. Game, spawn, entity, entity. <sighs> the entity itself, which is a pointer to an entity. So now we need to make a new entity. Um. I just want to see if I can update the bullet the way I want it to. And then I can make it a uh, bullet. It's going to be a bullet. Create. Actually. Bullet new. I don't like it yet. Bullet new. So we need to give it uh, the game itself, right? We could make it a global. But yeah. It's fine. Actually, we could make it a goal. And then initial position. So that's going to be the position of the player. Right? So it's going to be player.position. Actually, to be honest, we have using players. So we're going to do position here. Um, that's the bullet. Of course, game is going to... Because I don't have any type printing, I need to do make a lot. But that's fine. You see? Keeps you sharp. Uh, bullet, bullet new. Then we're going to make an entity. The problem is this entity new thingy uh, takes in... It takes it, it takes in a random type. That's not what we're gonna do. We need to actually make something like this. Um, can we do it's gonna be problematic because Do we want pointers to entities if we know that we have a union of bullets pointed to bullets? That's the thing. What you could do, like, for example, uh, E is going to be a new entity, right? And then you could say E dot variant is going to be this bullet, right? Because this bullet is... Uh... And then we could say, okay, cool, spawn is variant here, right? You see, it's a little bit nasty. I'm going to clean that up. You see, that's going to work. If I press B, it's all going to be fine. So normally my game should have the entity inside of this uh, thing. So how are we going to check that? Well, we need to do here in game update. We update the player. Uh, that's fine actually to be honest. I'm going to say for entity. 
uh, n game entities then we're gonna call this thing game update entity if this is gonna work I'm gonna be so fucking happy uh, entity dot variant because this is gonna work. I'm a genius, but it's not gonna work. I think. Uh... Damn. It's a type of union bullet, but not. Cannot assign value. The only thing I want to do is basically just have a bunch of entities in my game that's going to get updated and going to get rendered, right? And it's going to call update and it's going to call render, which are basically predetermined functions are never going to change. They're going to take in the uh, they're going to take in a DT and the object itself, right? That's the only thing I want to do. <coughs> Dying. <it. coughs> if somebody can help me with that, it would be nice. Hey, yo, hey. People on Twitch, I'm, uh, don't see your chat because I'm s sitting at the chat of YouTube on my screen. I'm so sorry. Most, most of the time, there's only one, one, one viewer anyway. So, um, so this is working. That's fine, right? The thing is, because FMT font print line does the same thing, right? It overloads based on the type you give it. Maybe I should check that. Wait, what's going on? There are no entities. Oh yeah, I need to maybe spawn one, eh? All right, you see what's going to happen? So now we have this variant. If I do one, boom, now we're going to... Always the same point that was going on here. So now we have two entities, three entities, four entities, five entities. So there is a big thing in, 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 in this. <laughs> so this bullet new thing, if for some reason, if you call this, uh, this bullet new, like we are used to in Golang, you can just like, uh, there's a lot of things, a lot of times you're going to make new player, new bullet, new whatever, and you're going to return that point and it's going to work pretty fine. But that's not the case in here because you're going to... I cannot tell you why it is. I have my ideas, but I'm gonna be wrong, and I'm not. Don't wanna ex. Um, don't wanna. Don't wanna uh, tell things that are not true or could not be true. But the thing is, it's all about the pointer being cleaned up. I think in this kind of a stack here. 
So the time you call bullet new, you're going to return a pointer to this bullet, but it's cleaned up, so it's empty. So you need to basically explicitly create it on the heap. That's what I think. But I could be wrong. I'm stupid. <clears throat> But like I said, I'm just experimenting here. We're going to clean this up because I'm not going to... Uh, that's going to be bad. Uh, it's not bad, but it's just annoying, right? To do all these, these steps here. There is no such thing as... Actually, maybe... Okay, so that's fine. So now we need to just call game update entity based on the variant. That's what I'm thinking that it needs to work. But it's telling me that cannot assign the value entity that variant of type union bullet to bullets in the procedure arguments. DT needs to be here, that's for sure, right? That's not gonna work. Game of entry aspect of an argument. What is bullet render? I see. Hola, 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 hola. Bullet update, actually, to be honest, right? But that's the same problem. I know, I know, I know. Entity variant is a type union bullet. Okay, cool. That's a union bullet. It's not a bullet. It's a union bullet. Okay, cool. But I want to have this. I want to have this bullet inside of this union. Why is it so hard? That's the only thing. If I can solve this thing, then it's done. Then, then I can actually continue and progress. But I've spent way too long on my collision. But everything is on. Okay. It's collision, man. Long time that I did that. Okay, let me let me go back here. They do a switch E. We're gonna check. Okay, if it's a pointer to a frog, we could do the same thing. We could check. Okay, what kind of variant is that? Okay, if it's if, it, if it's a bullet, render the bullet. If it's whatever, render that. I know. We could even do... I mean, you could do this, right? I mean, you could do switch and the type. How do you call that? Just T, E? Yeah. 
I'm gonna say case it's a bullet. Problem is if you have 10,000 bullets. <laughs> Can you see it happen? Can you see that happen? And you can just call simple uh, bullets uh, uh, bullet update here and just put in this E thingy, right? Just like in Golang, switch based on the type, which I like. Uh, and that's gonna work, right? Uh, wait, switch expression, did we make a mistake here? Switch E entry the type. Oh, switch E in entity variant, it's not it's not Golang. <laughs> switch E in entity variant. I don't even know what are you doing? A bullet update, of course we miss the DT here. Delta time, right? What's going on here? Please, please, save. Make, make. Man, what's going on? Yes, sir. look at that, beautiful, right? So now we are playing, and if we press B, uh, space actually, which should be the mouse button, but it's fine. Now the bullet is updating, you see here? Perfectly fine. But this is not what I want, right? But it's fine, I can keep the problem is you could stuck, you could be too, too much, too long figuring this out. It's fine. We're gonna use this and then see later on how we can optimize this because there should be a way, right? Because I cannot imagine it needs to be like that. So we're gonna do the same thing actually like this. And we're gonna do the same thing in um, game render. So this is the grid player and then maybe the entities like this. What we're gonna do is uh, game spawn entity is fine. Game update entity, we're gonna delete that real quick here. Game update, yes, yes, yes. Uh, for entity, if it's a bullet, we're gonna say bullet render, right? Bullet render E, B, E. That's fine. So now if you have a bullet, uh, this we could remove this position, uh, position and velocity and all that stuff into the entity itself. But that's something I'm gonna, I'm gonna check later on how I'm gonna optimize that. Mm -mm. Delicious! Why wouldn't land? I'm not gonna answer this question anymore. <clears throat> you need to understand that if I put on my stream. If I make a YouTube video, the first thing people ask is why? Why, 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 why? Of everything. Why VS Code? Why this team? Why Odin? Why Go? Why Svelte? Why? I don't know, man. It doesn't matter because I can write every single language in the fucking world and it doesn't matter what I, what I use. Like I said before, if I go bowling, I do on bowling shoes. If I go football, I do on my football shoes. If I go sprinting, I do on my sprint shoes. You know what I mean? The problem is, most of the people, they don't have any shoes, right? Make sure you have all the shoes you need and then put them on for the thing you're gonna do. If I go tonight, if I go dinner with my girlfriend, I do all my fucking, I'm gonna show you which shoes I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear. This, look, these shoes, look at these shoes here. These are my going out shoes. These, these are my running shoes for if I go running. If I go running on these shoes, I'm gonna have a big pain. If I go out in these shoes, my girl doesn't want me anymore. What? That's the same thing you need to do in programming. The exact same thing. <clears throat> those are some nice shoes. Yeah, they're, they're running shoes. Train for a marathon, by the way, so I need to have the good shoes, eh? Um, so we're gonna get a wrecked here, uh, which basically means that each time, if you're gonna update, you're gonna say basically, I'm gonna use bullet, using bullet actually, I like that, I like using, uh, using. I'm gonna say that the position uh, of this Bullet is gonna be, let's make it very simple. Uh, let's call it speed times DT or something, right? We also need a direction. Uh, 
What we could do is shoot into the player's velocity. Velocity is going to be Val. It's going to be problematic because that's going to be. <laughs> You cannot shoot uh, diagonally, so you can only shoot left or right, so we're gonna do this for now. We're gonna do, it's fine, speed times, uh, delta time, the other side, that's perfectly fine. What's gonna be the speed of this bullet? I have no fucking clue. I'm gonna do something like one, or maybe two, not quite sure, and see how it is this. And now we need to get erect. So how do we get this erect? Um, we could say something like this. To be honest, that's gonna be the world position, the world pause of this bullet is going to be, um, how is it called in me somewhere? Screen to world, screen to world, game, bullet position, we don't need bullet here because it's already this thing. And now we're gonna say a rect is going to be an SDL, a rectangle, just like that. We're gonna say X is gonna be a world boss. X, wait, that's not true because, yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. We're gonna copy some stuff here. The Y, world boss Y. Now we need actually a width and a height. The problem is, I have no clue. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna say 10. High 10. Just like a square bullet for now, right? Doesn't really matter. It's gonna be a sprite anyway later on. If we make some graficos. Uh gonna get updated by the position x is gonna go only that way, that's fine. Because we're gonna change the tiles and then call it a day. So we're gonna do Let me copy some stuff from my player, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. These two things is what it needs. Render draw color. Uh, which color are we gonna render this bullet? The thing is that the bullet... We have... Black tiles. Let's make it a red, right? So we're gonna... Do we have a color here? We don't. Let's make a color, which is gonna be a color. Color is going to be color new 255 zero, zero, 00255. That should be red. Correct me if I'm wrong. Game render color. Do we use. What's going on here? Using bullet, why not? Left name SDL. Sure, sure, sure. I believe you. I believe you, compiler. Paste that in. Save. Make again. Make again. Make again. Make again. Co color. No type hints. Eh? Look at that. Speed times ET. Uh, I try to do. Why speed? No float. Who does that? Okay, there's. Oh, here. Bullets are here. Bullets have no color. What's going on? Wait, wait. (sighs) 
bullet new we don't we don't use bullet new eh <laughs> we don't call bullet new guys we, we we just instantiated heat just like that it's fine bullet color uh color new it's just testing stuff right uh 255 zero, zero, 255 for the alpha uh let's do bullet dot speed it's gonna be i don't know one and that's it right all right we shoot it from from a complete different thing um uh, what's going on here what is this position Is that even possible? Oh yeah, it's camera. So the problem here is that we render the bullet based on um, screen, co uh, screen coordinates, not on world coordinates. Because we have a camera which offsets the game. Why do we need a camera? Because we're gonna do some shaking, some camera shaking. You know, if you shoot, so, brrr, and then so, bam, 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 you know, to give it a good feeling, right? It sounds stupid like right now, but it's from scratch, so you cannot make something directly with graphics and all that stuff and all, and all cool things. You need to do it from, build it up, right? Squares and just plain rectangles, and then you're gonna add sprites, and you're gonna add some 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 some, some animations and some particles and all that stuff, and it's gonna be fine, but you need to start with the basics, you know what I mean? Um, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good learning experience. People say, why do, are, are you making it so hard in Odin? Uh, because I don't know, it's, it's, that's how you get good. <laughs> People say, why, why, how, how do you do all these things? How do you get so confident? How, how do you know all these things? Because that's, I'm doing these things. You know what I mean? It, it, life is all about investing time right now to buy time back later. That's, that's, that's the core concept, right? You make it the same with Vim and all that stuff. You make it yourself hard. Right now. So you're gonna have it easier. What's going on? I'm full of fucking protein things. So you're gonna have it easier in the future. You know what I mean? I'm training for a marathon. So I'm making it myself so fucking hard. I'm running more miles than you're gonna run in your whole life. On a week. Suffering. Suffering, having pain, I need to stretch every day because investing so much time. So the time I'm going to run that thing, I'm going to have an easy time. The same thing. Huh? If you're going to keep making it easy for yourself every single day, you're going to be the same loser you are today. I'm so sorry, but uh, somebody needs to wake you up. Right? Okay. So basically because we, like I said before, because we're shooting these bullets here, boom, we're shooting it from here is because um, we need to bring the camera into play, right? How do we do that? Let me close these things here because it's annoying. What's going on here? Yeah. So we're going to draw this thing, um, bullet render, we get the world pass here, right? Uh, the world pass is basically just a truncation of um, the screen position, no, no, nothing, nothing more, plus game camera x not quite sure if that's actually gonna gonna work i know i did this with the same with the player actually every yeah it's position actually to be honest Now we're shooting, right? You see? But the thing, of course, is that we're not shooting from the center and it's, it's I know, I know, I know, but we're shooting bullets. That's the first thing we have, right? We're gonna fix, don't fix everything uh, directly, just make it work and build a pump. That's very important. Um, because what we already can do as an optimization here is we, you can see that we call world pause, right? And we bring the camera into play each time. So we could actually already uh, bring the camera offset into play if we call screen to world 
that's not true because screen to world is probably also getting used in the collision and if you bring the camera into play in the collision we're gonna collide with things that are not in front of us you know what i mean that's bad um Damn, I need to pee so hard. Anyway, so that's that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check if we are on a tile because the game involves that uh, if we make this, right? So if, if we shoot here, right? So if we shoot here, boom. Every, t every tile that's going to get crossed by the bullet is going to change into the color representing the weapon you're holding, right? So for example, if you're holding a, just a simple solid bullet weapon it's going to shoot solid tiles it's going to destroy all your tiles it's going to make solid tiles like these tiles here and you cannot pass anymore or you can pass right for example you are here right and you cannot move here like this is collision right it's collision detection which still needs a little, little bit more uh, work but it's fine and you shoot it's going to destroy it's going to change these tiles into another tile which you can pass through but it's going to change these tiles so enemies cannot pass through and maybe it's a tile where somebody is getting slowed maybe it's a tile you know what i mean there is a lot of options we can do and we need to experiment with that so the first thing we need to do did you try adding a default case in union switch back for the variants uh no if uh Neboisa, if you if you know uh, a good way to handle because I need to play around with that because I have no experience to be honest with Odin in that case. So here with the entities, right? So uh, right now I'm doing it like this, which is not the best case, but it's it works. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make an explicit overload. Uh, for example, game render entity and based on the entity variant, it's going to call the correct function, right? Uh, the problem is... Um, Yeah, it's not working that well because it's it's taking a variant and it wants a pointer to that thing, but it's it's get it's gets a union, um, which is annoying. So I'm gonna figure that out. I think it's gonna work. If, if otherwise we're in, in trouble. Well, not in trouble, but it's gonna it's gonna be annoying. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do right now is basically each time the bullet up is we're gonna check if we're colliding with a tile, right? So how can we do that? Well, it's very simple. Uh, of course, this speed needs to change. I, I'm not quite sure. Is it going the bullet? Are we gonna fire in the direction the player is going? Are we gonna fire in um, in some kind of a mouse position? We need to check. We need to see because with a mouse position, gonna be thinking about consoles. But anyway, so are we gonna do that? We're we gonna say we gotta, we're gonna get a world plus of this. You see what's going on here? This world plus. So we're gonna get this uh, world pause of this bullet, right? And then what we're gonna do is, if we could move all that logic into an entity, that would be amazing. Um, I'm gonna play around with that later on. So we're gonna get the world position, right? Then we're gonna save so, uh, something like uh, tile map because it's 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 called the grid in my in my code. Uh, look at that! It's gonna it's called the grid, grid, right? You see grid, and I basically prefix everything grid new. Uh, grid get tile index at post grid get tile blah 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 grid gets around the tiles the thing is that i already changed this to tile map get tile because i'm gonna rename grid to tile map <laughs> later on anyway so we're gonna have tile map get tile it's gonna take in a grid and get a and uh, it's gonna give us a, a take in a grid a position and it's gonna give us a pointer to the tile we are just crossing um normally you should check the four the four like how do we do the collision on our players we check the four corners we should do the same with the bullet but hey the bullet is so small we're gonna just take the simple x which is completely not in the center we don't care we're gonna fix that later on we're just gonna see uh make it work first so we're gonna get the tile map um get tile which needs to have the game grid which should be tile map uh and then we're gonna do the world position right World boss, which is actually just a truncated boss, uh, doesn't really matter. So there's gonna be a tile here. We don't check for boundaries, so it could, could give us some some index out of range, and it's gonna crash the world. No problem. 
we're gonna do each time so now it's gonna get tricky so we're gonna say tile color is gonna be um color new what's going on here new um so wait let me do this real quick here i'm gonna show you the concept the color of the tile needs to change based on the type of the bullet which is based on the type of the weapon you're holding right uh, because I al already have the mechanics in my mind. I'm going to draw them out, I think. Um, because it's actually very cool. So we need to change the tile color. Which actually, the tile color doesn't really matter. It's the tile variant. Let me show you. So I'm going to have a tile which has a kind. right? And based on the, kyle, the, the kind of the tile... We're going to determine what's going to happen if somebody crosses that tile. Is it a solid tile? My music is fucking, what's going on here? Is it a solid tile? Is it a tile that explodes? Is it a tile that slows you? Is it a tile that whatever? I don't know what's going what's gonna to happen. Uh, maybe it's it's a tile that basically changes your directions. That would be nice, right? So you, you cross the tile and basically up is going backward and, and all that stuff. Um, but for now, we're going to make it very simple. We're just going to give it a color here. Because we are, let me check. So we are white, right? And white can move on black, but we cannot move this solid color tiles, the, these ones, because they have six six, which is just all hardcore bullshit, right? So they cannot cross. So if I shoot a bullet, the problem is my bullets will all only go that way. If I shoot a bullet here, these tiles should change into black actually just for the sake this bullet is out of range you see this bullet is, is not getting destroyed or anything it's just it's, it's going it's going until the game crashes i'm gonna solve that on <laughs> uh so we're gonna set the style color to black which is actually zero right and then we're going to also say the tile dot kind is going to be zero. It's not going to be 666 because 666 is um, where we cannot move. That's what's going to happen, right? Okay, this, that, that, that ain't going to work. <laughs> um, Do we actually have a tile here? That's the thing. Oh yeah, I know what's going on. It's because I have hardcoded things. Look at that, guys. If I do this, <laughs> look at that. I'm gonna make. Look at that. This is gonna work. Look at this, right? So, if I'm here, I'm gonna shoot a tile. So, room. You see what's gonna happen? But of course, the bullet keeps going, right? And the game completely uh, get get fucked up, right? So. <laughs> I need to I need to really fix it, fix my boundaries here. Um, so if we shoot a bullet, the tiles in front will will change. Boom! You see, and then we can move or cannot move, right? That's what we're gonna do. Uh, that's the idea. The problem is that I have hard coded uh, grid tiles in my grid, just to check my uh, collisions here. Look at that! Look at this! How how, how what of a gamer I am! Look at that for testing, yeah. So these are basically always going to have this color no matter what each time we render. So we cannot, um, the, the way that's going to work is we need to, <laughs> get it new, uh, you could do something like that actually. We don't have a grid, yeah. Something like that. Hard code it in here, to be honest, and then delete these pieces. <laughs> Close your eyes, guys. If you cannot, if you cannot bear the the amount of of the amount of bullshit we're doing. Right. So basically, now they're gonna change. If I shoot, you see now now they change, right? Um,
They should be white in my opinion. No, black actually. And now we can move, right? That's the thing that's gonna happen. Uh, how can we... Yeah, then I need to do some collision checks if I'm out of bounds and I don't wanna hassle with that right now, so I'm thinking I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, so basically, the go the concept is this, I cannot move, I can shoot and I can move, right? You see what's gonna happen? Um, Like, like this. What I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna delete this hard-coded stuff, yeah? I'm gonna make all the fucking tiles, of course it's gonna get loaded, or it's gonna get randomly generated, right? So I'm gonna get all these tiles here. Uh... Color new, black. I'm gonna make them all white, right? 255. 255, so I cannot move, I'm gonna set... Uh, we're gonna set these um, tile kinds to solid, which is 6-6, six, six, just for the sake of, right? Maybe it's gonna be an enum later on, right? So what's gonna happen if we run this, th we cannot move. So I'm gonna shoot, and now we can move, you see? Now we can move here, and I can... I'm blocked now, I can move now, you see? that That's the thing. Of course, my bullets are... Game's over. <laughs> The bullets keep going, they need, to, they need to get stopped. Once they get out of screen, they need to get stopped. Uh, so that's what, but, but we, we are in a good spot. So what, what I need to do in the next uh, priority for me to, to make this kind of work is find a way to render uh, entities in a hole. Maybe find a way to add position, velocity, direction, all that bullshit into an entity itself. Or maybe a bullet. A bullet base i don't, don't want to call it base but you know what i mean like a bullet is going to have common properties which could be in an um which could be set in another bullet and then you could do using bullet and then you're going to have that properties so a lot of cool stuff that i can play around with then i'm going to do my collision checks decently make if we know how we can add entities to our engine which we are doing but we also can remove them then I can actually delete them when they are out of bounds, and then um, I can start adding in enemies. They come, and each time an enemy crosses a tile, right? Each time an enemy crosses a tile, this tile will change in the color of that specific enemy, which will block your way, or which will make sure if you hit it, you're gonna explode or something. I don't know. Um, and and at a certain point of time, more enemies come, and they come, and they come, and you need to keep shooting. Your bullets going. Um, going empty so you need to search your bullets or so sometimes it could be that you don't have bullets anymore but there is ammo but the ammo is blocked so you cannot move to your ammo because it's blocked by 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 tiles but you cannot shoot the tiles so yeah eventually you're gonna you're gonna die right and uh, so you need to be very strategic and um then probably gonna do something like vipers vampire survivors where things drop on the ground and then you can upgrade your player um and Try to get high scores, high scores and high scores, and unlock new characters, unlock new weapons, unlock new stuff. I think it's cool. It's very simple concept, so we don't need to do a lot of graf uh, fancy graphics. Uh, of course, we're not gonna leave it like 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 we have right now. That that would be fucking savage. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, the level needs to be bigger and and and. This will be some maybe some pixel art or some vector art. We don't know. We will see. It doesn't really matter. Uh, even myself. As a complete noob in art, I can draw some, some cool stuff for this game. No worries. Um, do you mind quickly showing the game loop? Uh, no, no problem, no problem. Long term, how would you store tile sets for each level? Uh, the thing is... There will be multiple levels. And you store them basically just on, on disk, right? You store them on disk and you load them. Um, and they're gonna have... Any kind of representation you want, right? The game loop, I mean, game loop is very simple. It's gonna be game start. Normally I would do a GD, go to definition, but it doesn't work here, right? Game start, this is my game loop, right? Game start. Game process event, game update, game render, then delay. 
That's the only thing we do, right? That's all it is. Try the default case in the variant switch for uh, when you're switching entities. So you tell me that if I... Default here, I can put that thing into a genetic function. Um, we can try that. We can try. We can try that. So, so basically, let, let, let's let's do this. So we're gonna have, for example, game. This is what I want. Game. Uh, update entity. Right. This is going to be a special proc thingy here, where we're gonna have, for example, a uh, render. No, it's gonna be bullets. Render, right? Oh, render, what am I? Update for now, right? So, game update entity, bullet update. The thing is, if I delete this and make a default case here, like, uh, and then do something like game update entity based on the variant, which is this E case, default, and I'm adding the DT here, it should work. Making a lot of problems, I guess. It's probably case default. And let name default. How do we do that? Default case is important. This is the same thing, right? So it it it's it's this E is a union bullet, not a bullet. I want this E So this E needs to be a pointer to a bullet in this case or a pointer to the variant, not a pointer to the union. Yada yada. That's what I want. That's the thing. Because if I can do this, and we don't need to switch these variants, we can actually do this, right? It's <sighs> going on here. We can just do this. Actually, to be honest, let, let's delete everything here because I need to figure it out anyway. So look at that. This, this is clean. This is much cleaner. So game update entity. The only thing we need to do is make sure that we um, have all our update functions ready, all our overloads here. If there is somebody that knows how you can do it is even better. For example, it could be um, item update. The problem is that. Then we can call item update. Then we can change the item update ba based on the different types of items, something like that. But it doesn't really matter. But now it doesn't. Now we can just do this game update entity. But that doesn't work, right? Because entity is of type. What up, Lemur? Entity is of type entity of variant, uh, which is of type union, not bullet itself. Maybe I could try to do something like this, which is basically getting, but it's not, it's not gonna work. Um, we cannot dereference variant, of course not, because it's a union. I don't know. I, I don't know what we need to do here. You could, you could, uh, I don't think it's, it's gonna, 
You could do entity render, right? And then switch based on the variant and call all your fucking variants there. But is that a thing, guys? I mean, come on. There should be a little bit more... Uh, that's got a lot of a lot of stuff, man. I mean, each time you delete something, you need to... Do it. No, it's... I'm, <laughs> I don't like that. By the way, also, having entities as an... Um, Having entities in an, in a dynamic array is not the best thing because how are you gonna delete that entity? You don't know, right? You need an ID. So it's probably much better to basically use a map or something. Uh, so you can easily delete that stuff, but we're gonna see that later on. All right, anyway, guys, this is gonna be a small session here. One hour, uh, 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna play around a lot with these entities and see how we can render that stuff. Uh, that's basically it. Once I have these things set up, then it's actually cool. Um, then we can, can move on with, um, with the progress. Uh, yeah, hey, thanks for watching. If there are more questions, feel free to jump into the Discord or ask me anything, doesn't really matter. Uh, happy to answer all your questions. Of course, I'm gonna add a Steam page. Uh, I'm gonna link it, of course, and a link. Uh, you need to give, you need to wishlist this on Steam. It's gonna be amazing. Of course, right now it's hard to see how cool it's gonna be. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure we're gonna have some gameplay very soon. And then it's just filling out everything. With beautiful pixels on the screen, beautiful graphics, and, um, Thanks for watching.